yeah, mum and dad. Uh, came here in 68, been farming here all my life. Yeah, young people are the future of any industry or business and communities and uh, yes, yeah, so it's very important to encourage and nurture the, the younger generation along. I suppose growing up, the trend was cultivation and, and burning of stubbles and in those dry years, 82 was a, a drought and there was soil blowing around um, and topsoil which is very valuable and you just cannot replace that and just been a natural progression to, to uh, leave the stubble there and um, leave our soil in the paddock. Paul, what motivated you um, to get involved with Vic No-Till in the first place? It's at the, the leading edge of, of technology and, uh, and farming, uh, just with the conservation farming techniques and uh, just the future of uh, sustainable agriculture, I guess, with uh, less soil disturbance and looking after your soil health and uh, coming out of some uh, below average rainfall years too, we've had to adapt our farming system to, to remain sustainable in those drier type of seasons and uh, no till and stubble retention is definitely the way to go and with Vic no till they're very hands on and very obliging helping the, the younger, younger guys getting started and teaching and mentoring them. Good a spot as any. Oh, have a look at that sucker. Ripper. What a ripper, I wonder where his mate is. Again, really good moisture and good early root development on the lentils by the looks of it. A little bit of rain we've had, that, that stubble's done its job, hasn't it? You can see this one here anyway, Paul, the the root growth on it for only three weeks old, that's tremendous. I'm a local born and bred guy. I uh, grew up on a farm just south of Rapanyip. There's something about uh, planting a seed and, and watching it grow and then harvesting. Um, and obviously uh, being able to do that over and over again. Um, I've always loved being out in the paddock and I think that um, your gut feel um, is to follow that through and, and farming is certainly uh, offering me fantastic opportunities uh, to satisfy that and also to interact with other people uh, within the industry. Um, everyone's trying to strive and achieve the same goals. When did no-till um, get on your radar, Ben? I guess it was through Longrenong. Um, one of the Vic No Till conferences was held at the at the College Hall, um, and we were fortunate enough to be allowed to attend the conference. Uh, and that's certainly when myself and a few mates uh, became uh, very attracted to the the No Till uh, Farmers Association, and certainly thought that we could uh, learn a lot from it. What messaging at the, uh, at the No-Till conference um, said to you, that's important, we need to, lead, need to learn more? I think we're all like-minded students and we certainly uh, want to know and have a thirst for knowledge. Uh, Dr Jill Clapperton was certainly uh, a strong point during that conference and talking about soil health and the, the soil web um, that was just phenomenal and I was really entrapped by her presentation and I think from then we all wanted to, to do what's best for our soils and, and that was certainly the, the, the thing that got me into the, the no-till. Yeah, she's uh, amazing isn't she? She's very enthusiastic and passionate about soils and is really tremendous at conveying, conveying that message. For sure. It was almost contagious. Uh, everyone in the room uh, was like-minded and we all were striving for you know, the same thing and that was improving our soil health. And I think uh, Vic No-Till has certainly uh, done a tremendous job in terms of promoting that message right through till today. If you keep doing the same thing, you'll keep getting the same results. So you've got to keep adapting and moving forward. Six years ago, I started changing my farming practice to a controlled traffic and inter-row sowing. Um, and about that same time, uh, 
been being a local person, uh, got employed locally as an agronomist and it, it just sort of fell into place that he was very interested in no-till farming and, and I was so it just uh, sort of went hand in hand that we'd grow together. If, if you want to learn, you, you need to be involved with the people that are at the forefront of the industry. Um, Vic No-Till certainly has a committee that uh, I like to be involved with just from developing my own interests and certainly uh, farming business and I think to be involved with the, the committee that they have got is, is very important and I feel by doing that I can certainly bring a younger group of farmers uh, that I know uh, to, to the actual association to learn more as well. Vic no Till's very upfront and open and uh, we see the good and the bad and, and being at the leading edge of technology and farming practice, well, we're trying things that haven't been done before, so there's good and there's bad results, and um, Vic No Till and the people involved are very happy to share the, the good experiences as well as the, the bad experiences of what not to do or what they would do differently the next time around. Our biggest limiting factor around here and Australia-wide is certainly um, lack of rainfall. Um, being in such a dry climate as we are, it's really important that we try and utilise every millimetre of rainfall we get. And I think that uh, no-till farming uh, and controlled traffic farming are certainly two big tools that we need to uh, look, at least look at, if not implement, uh, across Australia. And I think across the world we actually are demonstrating that we as a nation are leading uh, the way in terms of no-till farming. Ben, who are your role models? The first one that comes to mind around here was Robert Ruolt, there's no doubt about that. Um, being able to see what he does on his farm and the way he's gone about his business was certainly uh, a very important thing for me to see and I would say he's certainly a role model. Um, Paul is actually um, one of my role models all the same. Um, seeing what he does on my, his farm is certainly something I can look at to utilise on my farm. Uh, it's important to, uh, to mix with like-minded people and uh, with the funding from, from CMA that um, makes it possible for Vic No-Till to be able to gain information from international people and local people and, and share that amongst our uh, farming community and I think that's why Vic No-Till's got such a large member base.